Hey, what's happening? Barnaby here. It's time for five questions where I sit down with people that I've always wondered about and ask them five questions of my own choosing. Today's subject is going to be homelessness. What's it like to be homeless? Well, Ricky, thanks for talking to me here today. How you doing? Good, man. So what's your story? How did you end up on the street? I ended up on the street, lost my job, and I got divorced. And I didn't have no place to live, so I come back down here to Grand Rapids. And you just, how long did you live on the street? I lived out here for just about two years now. All righty. So, you know, we always hear that we're one paycheck away from being homeless, right? And so let's assume for a moment, God forbid, that I become homeless. Give me some advice here. What is the most dangerous thing that's going to happen to me out there? What's the advice to keep me safe? Uh, I would say don't ask too many questions. People down the street don't like that. Uh, don't rub into people. They don't like to be touched. And uh, don't be open, taking your wallet out of your pants and counting your money. All righty. And, you know, more and more we see apparent homeless people standing at the top of off-ramps of freeways. And they have signs saying, give me money, I'm homeless, or we'll work for food. A lot of people do give money. Where's that money going, by and large? Yeah, that all depends on the person, I guess I would say. Uh, I use it for different things. What would you use it for? Some of it was alcohol, some of it was just for needs that I needed, like clothes and whatnot. Just day, day in and day out stuff. Okay, so homelessness, certainly a dark time in anybody's life, but there's got to be, even at the depth, some sort of beauty that still makes itself apparent. Tell me about one of the more amazingly beautiful moments that you experienced on the streets. One particular time, this gentleman gave me a gift certificate from uh, Subway for $25. And I didn't feel like walking the subway in a few days, and I just happened to be down at a park at Hartside, underneath the water park. And there were three ladies there with their three kids in tricycles. And they said they just got them bikes from the, uh, one of these churches here. I don't remember which one they said it was. Mm -hmm. And uh, I sat back down, and I thought about it for a minute, and then I walked back up there, and uh, I handed them that gift certificate. I said, somebody was kind to me, I would like to give it, give it back to somebody that could really use it. Oh, well, that's very cool. And now the happy side of the story. You are on your way to becoming clean and sober. What do you put your chances at for success this time around? I got my chances real good. I got my family behind me. They're all, after I get sober and they see I'm going to be that way, they're starting to come around already and uh, we're getting along great. And, and uh, they feel that I'm going to be able to go through it this time and I feel real positive of it. I got God helping me out on this because without him I wouldn't be able to do anything. All righty, Ricky, thanks for sitting down for five questions. Now, I'll tell you what, folks, if you have a particular subject you'd like me to cover, just go to the email link at the bottom of the page and just drop me a line. Let me know what sort of questions you'd like to ask of a certain person. So even just suggest a topic, and I'll go find a particular person, because we all need to understand better in life what other people are all about. That's it for this edition of Barnaby's Five Questions.